Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com and today what we're going to do is go through my workflow for dealing with handwritten notes in Evernote. So traditionally I've always scanned everything to PDF and put it in Evernote. But what I found is that, and Evernote says this too, is that they will, when they're trying to recognize handwritten text, they will only do it on JPEG files and not on PDF files. So then I thought to myself, okay, if I have a single page JPEG, no problem. I can just scan that in as JPEG, or I can take a picture of it with my phone. But what do I do with multiple page uh, notes that I want all in this, all in the same, to look like it's all in the same document, and I want it all in the same note in Evernote? And that's what we're going to go through today. So to start with, we want to set up our scanner. And you can do this with any scanner that can scan to JPEG. I happen to use a Fujitsu ScanSnap, which has Evernote integration built in, but you can use whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my ScanSnap Manager settings, go to settings, and you can do this on Windows too. I'm showing you on the Mac, but on the Windows it works fine. I, I have a profile set up called Evernote Handwritten. And when I go to the Application tab, you can see that on the Application tab I have here set Scan to Evernote note and that's something that's built into modern versions of the ScanSnap software. The other setting I have is on the file option tab here. I have file format set to JPEG. Almost always I have it set to PDF but in this particular case I have it set to JPEG. All the other settings don't really matter too much so set them however you want as far as quality and that sort of thing goes but I've got my Evernote handwritten profile set up the way I like it. So now what I do is I take a step back and do a little bit of processing on the paper and I'll, I'll show you how now. All right, so you can see I have a three page document here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse the order. So page three is gonna be at the top, then page two, then page one. And this will get us ready to scan. And I'm going to do that because later on we're going to be using Evernote to combine these into one image and I want them in that order. You'll see why in a second. All right, so I've got the documents sorted and I have them in my scanner and now let's scan them into Evernote. And so you can see that in Evernote now we have three different notes because what it's going to do is it generates a note for each page. And this, you may be cool with that, but this is not at all what I want. What I want to have happen is I want everything together in a note looking like it's a normal document. I want everything in one. Now before I get started on the next step, I want, I, I'm going to point out that you remember that I reverse the order of the pages. And the reason that I did that is because I wanted it to come in, first it scanned this one, and then it scanned this one, page two, and then it scanned page one. And the reason why is because I have my Evernote sorted as by date updated in descending order, which is how I think I would suspect most people have their Evernote set. If you don't have that, then you don't need to reverse the order, but in my case, that's what I do. And the reason I want number one at the top is because I'm going to highlight all these notes. And you can see over here on the right hand side, there's a button called Merge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap that button. And you can see it's gotten rid of all three pages, or sorry, it's gotten rid of the other three notes. And now it's merged everything. Here's page one, here's page two, and here's page three. It's merged everything into one note. So this is exactly what I want. I'll just open that up so you can see it better. So this is exactly what I want. Now, I could stop there, and sometimes I do stop there, but you'll notice that Evernote puts this little header in between each note, and if I had proper uh, note titles, it would be the title of the note. You may be cool with that. Sometimes I am too, depending on how lazy I am. 
But if you want to get rid of that, just highlight it, delete it, and it's gone. And you can see now there's no gap between page one and page two. Again, no gap between page two and page three. And there you go. That's basically my Evernote handwritten note workflow. Now when I synchronize this up to Evernote, it's going to recognize as much of the text as it can. And I have this stored in my searchable in my Evernote notebook on all of my devices. For more going paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.